So off the hook talk. Welcome. This is off the hook talk. Episode one. I am your host Jesse, and uh, assistant host Carter. Off the hook. We are both instructors for off the hook kiteboarding, located in Long Beach, Belmont Shore area, Southern California. Kite Beach. Kite Beach. Yeah. Just look for the green shirts, look for the green everything. If you see something green, more than likely we are attached to it or we know someone who's attached to that kite. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little series to start talking about just random things over the years. Fun talk, silly, semi-serious, just, just kind of out there, uh, um, you know, whatever. If you guys want to learn something, give us a shout, you know, let us know in some comments down below. And we can, uh, you know, assess what you're trying to figure out and maybe throw in some like little helpful videos up here behind us that can kind of walk you through what you might be working on and yeah, yeah, ways we... to kind of progress your riding or improve uh, your riding skills. Yeah, throughout okay. the years of uh, both of us teaching, there's over 20 years of both of us teaching together. Mm -hmm. We've seen a, a, a plethora of mistakes, the most common mistakes, and uh, even some, some very efficient riders have been riding for 10, 15 years yeah, didn't know how to self-launch their kite or something simple like that. So it's sometimes like even just developing bad habits. Like yeah, yeah, it's kind of crazy. You'll see someone out there that you know has been kiting for oh maybe ten years and yeah, they, yeah. just somewhere along the line to pick something up that um, they've gotten. You can get away with a lot of mistakes in the sport, but you just do this little tweak right here and yeah, for it's sure, for night sure. and day. Your riding yeah. is going to make it so much easier. Whatever you might be working on. Uh, a great example is um, I had a guy. Um, when you're learning to ride upwind, there, there are days that if you're pretty overpowered, you can get away with a pretty kind of sloppy edge and stance, and you'll still kind of eventually make your way upwind. But you're not gonna like, you know, you're not gonna end up 100 feet upwind, 200 feet upwind. Um, but you can get away with it. So he came to me and he's like, "Hey, I don't get it. I was down in Brazil. I was upwind. I was upwind. I come back here. I'm on a, you know, just light a little lighter and stuff, and I just can't do it." And uh, what he was doing was he was he kept bending both of his legs so he was just kind of doing that really controlled skid where he was able if it was the wind was strong enough and that was kind of the funny thing that happened, like happened to yeah, yeah yeah during the lesson the wind yeah. kicked up and yeah he started cruising up wind again yeah. but just working on your stance you know like yeah. while you're riding up wind really focusing on bending the back leg straight front leg you know open your chest in the direction you're riding yeah um, tweaking so, the way you you know distribute your weight on the board all make a huge difference yeah. in the and, long run. And that's something we do as instructors that we can see somebody with a, a point they need to improve on and like we can do adjustments to the equipment until they learn the skill with different size kites or bigger fins on a board for better traction, yep. uh, different shape of boards, so with more edge versus more fin. So there's many things we can do that even you can even like adjust the foot pads where they're more comfortable. They didn't realize that where they were, where they were standing naturally was not working for them. So. Here's a pretty big debate, um, and I I think you and I probably have the same idea. Of this is uh, board leash. Is there a time when someone should have a board leash? My thing. I'll, I'll go first. Feel mine. So you go. Yeah. I would. I call board leashes, and I tell this to everybody. Uh, uh, Ninety percent convenient and ten percent dangerous. And when that ten percent dangerous happens, you would do anything to not have that board leash with you. So, I mean, most students, if they're more advanced, they take a, uh, an advanced lesson from us mm -hmm. and they're using a leash. The yeah. first thing I give them the option to do, their choice, but I just prefer to do this, is give me 20 minutes to teach you how to upwind body drag or board recovery. And a lot of people say, I can't do that because I, I can't get to my board or yada yada. And there's just a few basic, it's always one or two things they do yep. incorrectly. So we just fix that real quick. They get back to the board without their leash and then it's gone for the rest of your life. And in addition to that, you're not carrying your there's less stuff to bring with you to the to the beach it's like you just feel more free you know it's just you yeah. and a kite and a board and a harness and that's it so i like to unaddict people from not bad habits but a potential danger and it's very simple too yeah it, and that's that's kind of right in my thought on it is uh that's why in the beginning when we're giving lessons we really focus on getting you guys up and body dragging as soon as possible um it it's you know definitely one of the least fun things to learn in kiting it's I, you know, be the first person to admit it's not fun. <laughs> well, well, check this out too. Do you agree with this? In addition to uh, board recovery, let's say you're new at kite surfing and you are in a foreign area or wherever you're at, you have an object in front of you like a buoy, uh, uh, some rocks or something like that, and mm -hmm. you're not efficient at riding your board to stay up wind yet, then you can just up and body drag with your body yeah. much easier because yep. it's a slow speed. Your body's the whole fin, so yep. it, it's a valuable skill for many reasons. If you, maybe the wind, extremely, no, yeah, yeah, and that's that's sure. kind of where I was going with that. Is yeah. that that's why we focus on giving you guys that skill as soon as we possibly can, so that way you, 
you have it and that you can get through those situations or you you know like the first time you go out and riding you know if you get up and you do ride quite a ways out and you drop that board you, you gotta get it. back to <laughs> it <don't laughs> yeah. yeah so and it, it also like we'll put it this way the uh the lessons that i've had where we get them you know body dragging up wind nice and efficient they get so much more time on the board because they're able to recover the board every time they're able to get it back on their feet no problem versus like if I've seen people or have had people come from other lessons that never really picked up that skill and then they go to the water and yeah, they might be able to get the board on feet, but then they can't get back to the board. So now we're spending most of the lesson waiting for the board to blow back into shore or might, I might have to go out and get it. Um, so it yeah. actually helps your learning curve quite yeah, a bit because yeah. you get more time on the board being able to recover yeah. it faster. Yeah. So it's and, a, and, and then even in, and not to go on the subject too much but when you're in the waves in the future and you have to get through a wave well it's just you need that body control to get through waves and yep. so and there's there's many reasons to do that and that's just one example yeah. of things we would pick pick up on a bad habit somebody might have mm -hmm. and eliminate that so yep. and it just it makes the person feel more confident more safe and more free in effect uh, when they're kite surfing uh like episodes if you want to yeah if you guys have any questions on any of that stuff if you want to see proper technique of how to do it if you guys want to see um you know, me, no. yeah <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, you know, Just you want to learn how to foil. Ask me, not him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions on anything you want to learn, uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Also, please click that subscribe button on the bottom for future videos that will be coming out. These won't be the only ones. We'll do this maybe, I don't know, whatever. Once a week would be pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, but... Yeah, if you guys have questions, you want to learn something new, also feel free to stop by the website. It should be flashing down here right now. Or check out our Instagram up here. Some, well, there it is. Yep, up there. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is Jesse McCourt. Carter Thomas. Signing off. We'll see you guys later. Later.